here's the introduction. One of the most common lab techniques is using the gravimetrical analysis by adding silver nitrate to form a precipitation of silver chloride. Precipitate or silver halide would be able to be obtained by using an inorganic component that contain halogen with an aqueous solution. The formation of Y precipitate can be determined by using the ionic reaction such as stated in this slide which is silver ion that combine with chlorine ion to form a silver chloride. In this experiment, chlorine salt was put to the test. The salt are treated with silver nitrate to form a precipitate. Form a white precipitate of silver chloride. Silver chloride form a colloidal solution. The objectives of this experiment is to recover the amount of sodium chloride and to identify the percentage of chloride ion in sodium chloride. Now the procedure of this analysis where there are six steps involved. The first steps are the sample preparation where 0.4032 grams of sodium chloride salt, the sample, are diluted with 100 ml of distilled water. Then, AgNO3 or silver nitrate are added into the diluted sample to form precipitation of AgCl, silver chloride, which are white in color. The first 3 to 5 ml addition, the solution turned to cloudy and eventually after 39.10 ml of silver nitrate, the solution has completely precipitated. While adding the silver nitrate, the solution was also being heated for a bit and stirred with a glass rod to increase the rate of reaction. After that, the HCl precipitate shall be freed using filter paper and rinse with HNO3 the nitric acid few times until the filtrate are free from silver iron. To determine if the precipitate are free from silver iron, a few amount of the excess solution in the filter flask are to to have had a TA test. If there is no turbidity observed, then the precipitate are silver iron free. Then it was also washed with three portions of 5 ml acetone to ensure its pureness. After the sample preparation, digestion, filtration, and washing, the remaining precipitate in the filter paper are brought to a 110 degrees Celsius oven for drying. After 30 minutes in the oven, the solidified precipitate are let cool for 5 minutes and then it was weighed with an analytical balance and finally the mass recorded are used to calculate the CL content in the sample Now, I will discuss about results and calculation for this experiment Results for determination of chloride content in sodium chloride salt consist of 4 parts which is A, B, C and D for A, which is sample preparation, shows the mass of sodium chloride and the volume of distilled water. While B, digest and precipitate, shows about the volume of silver nitrate that are used. C is filter the precipitate, which shows mass of filter paper and petri dish. And lastly is D, dry the precipitate, that shows mass of recovery silver chloride. Now, let's move to the calculation of determination of chloride content in sodium chloride salt using gravimetric factor. As shown in the slide, the chemical equation for this experiment is sodium chloride plus silver nitrate produce silver chloride and sodium nitrate. Firstly, we calculate the mass of filter paper and petri dish 0.9477 gram plus 46.8476 gram equal to 47.7953 gram. Secondly, we calculate the three reading of the mass of recovery silver chloride which is mass of filter paper plus petri dish plus recovery silver chloride minus mass of filter paper and petri dish. Next, calculate the average of recovery silver chloride which is equal to 0.7074 gram. Thirdly, calculate the gravimetric factor which is 
formula weight of chloride divided by formula weight of silver chloride and multiplied by 1 over 1. The gravimetric factor is 0 0.24736 gram. Then, calculate the weight of chloride by multiplying the gravimetric factor with mass of recovery silver chloride which equal to 0 0.17498 gram. Lastly, Calculate the percentage of chloride in sodium chloride salt using formula weight of chloride over weight of sodium chloride and multiply by 100%. The percentage of chloride in sodium chloride salt is 43.40% which differs by 17.26% with the percentage of chloride in sodium chloride salt from theory. In this experiment, sample preparation, sample digestion and precipitation, precipitation filter and precipitation drying are the four parts. After being weighed, sample A has a mass of 0.4032 g. The mass of sodium chloride powder will be diluted with 100 ml of water and a little 0.5 ml of strong nitro acid will be added in the preparation part of the example which will be used in the following phase. Silver nitrate was added to the mixture to create a white precipitate of silver chloride. The solution is filtered using filter paper and the remaining precipitate in the filter paper is dried in an oven at 110 degrees Celsius for approximately 30 minutes. The filtrate is then washed with nitric acid many times until it is until it is free of silver ions. According to the theory of sample A, the percentage of chloride ions is 60.66%. The mass of chloride ions in sodium chloride is 0.2446 gram. The difference between the percentage of chloride in sodium chloride salt from the data and the percentage of chloride in sodium chloride salt from the theory is 17 0.26%. Sample A has a chloride ion loss of 17.26%. This is due to an incomplete reaction. Of course, the amount consumed is not due to the movement of the beaker. Therefore, the success of this experiment can be observed with a small amount of chloride ion loss rate and a percentage calculated based on data and theory. Finally, based on the experiment performed and the results obtained, our goal was achieved. In this experiment, it can be theoretically concluded that the resulting precipitate has a large molecular size in the form of a crystalline suspension. This is because the RSS value of this reaction is low, the Q value is low, and the S value is high. So the precipitate is large and easy to filter. Therefore, the result of this filter gets the original material and if there are other materials, disappears when heated later. Conclusion, silver chloride were able to be recovered and the amount of chlorine ion in sodium chloride salt were able to be determined by using an applied formula. Safety measures were done in this experiment and the objective of the experiment has been obtained.